Tell me more. Ooh, dang. Ciao. I'm also getting like there's some sort of someone was trying to give you some sort of sex entity or have this attached to you, but it didn't. Okay. Someone was spiritually trying to do this or someone was saying that you were like some sort of succubus or some shit. Okay. Somebody's first middle or last name could start with an N. Okay. We have undercover cop. All right. Someone in this situation was an undercover cop. Maybe someone didn't have knowledge that someone was an undercover cop. And this is how this copycat is going to get caught, caught up, caught up. Ooh, damn. Someone's going to sentence to five to 10 years here. Tell me more. We have coworker is plotting on you. All right. There's a coworker here that is plotting on you. We have self-empowerment. Someone does not like your power. Someone doesn't like that you're standing in your power. Someone's just hateful as fuck. They want to destroy you in some way. Someone could have lied to the feds and said you was doing something you wasn't doing. This could be someone who's also a spiritualist. Put it where it needs to go. Okay. Someone in this situation could be having immune system issues. I'm also getting somebody could have lied and said that you gave them uh, HIV or something. I'm also getting though, like pay attention to your body. If you start developing rashes or your skin starts getting some sort of irritation while you're, while you're with somebody, your body is trying to tell you that that person is not, you're not supposed to have sex with this person or you shouldn't be around this person, okay? Someone in this situation wants to hear your voice, all right? Something about your voice could be very calming, very relaxing to this person. Tell me more. Yeah, someone in this situation is going to gaslight you. Or somebody's brother was gaslighting somebody else about you. Okay? Someone was trying to make you believe something that you... Or try to make you question your own reality here. About some sort of forged signature. Damn. Tell me more. We have black magic made me sick. So someone could have tried to use black magic to make you sick, to have your health decline, okay? Or now this person is getting sick because they threw some sort of dark shit at you and it's coming back, all right? Something about ABC News is significant. Something, some, this situation might end up on the news. Somebody's stepdad is involved in this situation. Somebody's stepdad is in here. Okay, someone could be of Jewish descent, okay, or something about clashing religions. Spirit wants you to listen up, pay attention. You are a healer, okay? We have bees don't waste their time explaining to flies why honey is better than shit. I feel like Spirit's trying to say, don't waste your time on explaining yourself to people who aren't on your fucking level. We have cleanse your space, palo santo, sage, cedar, florida water, sound bowls frequencies okay don't be fooled by the rocks that i've got i'm still i'm still jenny for the block we have there's no magic pill for self-love here okay so whoever was lying this is a person that needs to do some sort of inner work okay on themselves spirit wants you to know that you are getting a raise soon Ooh, what's this Ooh, damn spirit wants you to know that you're getting a raise soon and someone is angry that you're getting some sort of raise, okay? Or that your money is moving up a tax bracket or something. Someone's upset that you're getting some sort of opportunity or you're being chosen or that because you are chosen, all right? We have abandonment issues. Someone in this situation could have abandonment issues, okay? Something might be revealed to you in the next three days, okay? Tell me more. Something about a black cat is significant and self-empowerment wants to come out, okay? Black cat, we have good luck and protection is on your side, okay? Interesting. We have raid. Someone could be getting raided soon. 
The FBI could be raiding somebody, raiding whoever this liar is, okay? Someone could be a smoker here. Someone could smoke a lot of weed or cigarettes. Someone could be 50 to 60 years old that's involved in this situation, okay? Tell me more. Something about the month of July is significant. Somebody's birthday could be in July. You could be dealing with a Leo or you could be dealing with a Cancer. Okay, there's some sort of corrupt organization that is definitely involved in this situation. And someone from this corrupt organization or whoever else is involved in this is going to be sentenced to jail soon. They know this though, okay? We have people are probably not happy with their lives if they're busy discussing yours. So these people all day, all they do is talk shit about you, make shit up, blah, 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 so that they can basically make, make them feel better. Okay, we have regret that I left you. So someone in this situation is now regretting that you're no longer in their lives or that they left you behind or they abandoned you. I don't know. Someone now is regretting this. Something about a PPP loan fraud is significant here. Maybe someone took out some sort of loan in your name or, at, or under your business name in July of last year. Okay, or the year before that or whatever. Okay, you could find that out. There was some sort of inside job with a security guard that's involved in this. Something about a Leo and CPS is significant. Somebody might um, get their kids taken away. All right. We have refusing to see positives in one's life, victimhood. So someone in this situation is definitely playing the fucking victim. Okay. Ooh, the feds are out here twice. We have the feds already. No. Oh my God. Someone's going down. We have coworkers lusting after you, all right? We have um, the letter Z, so this is the end of something, or someone's first middle or last name could start with a Z. We have astral travel, sex and dreams, so someone in this situation was trying to cipher energy off of you, could be in your solar plexus chakra or your chakra. Something about the cartel is involved in this situation, so something about drug money, okay, or some sort of illegal activity someone was trying to put you involved in, okay? Something about somebody's baby's not being theirs, or someone's baby is actually theirs. Put it where it needs to go. Someone, you're going to find out that someone is bisexual, and spirit wants you to know that you passed some sort of test when it comes to this situation. Okay? Damn. What do these people look like, spirit, that my Tauruses are dealing with? It's almost over, Taurus. It's almost over. Stay strong. Stay strong. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Who are these people and what do they look like that my Tauruses are dealing with? Someone in this situation could be an Aries. Okay, tell me more. Someone could be a Gemini. Or you could have Gemini somewhere in your chart. We have brown chocolate mocha. Someone could drink a lot of coffee, okay? Or someone's favorite uh, dessert is chocolate. We have Sagittarius. Someone could be a Sagittarius, or you could have Sagittarius somewhere in your chart. Um, we have Cancer here. Someone could be a Cancer here, or you can have Cancer somewhere in your chart. Someone in the situation could be shorter than you. You could also be dealing with, um, or you could be short, or you could also be dealing with another Taurus, okay? Tell me more. Someone in this situation could be a night owl. This is someone who likes to stay up late. Okay. Ooh, tell me more. Something about acrylic nails or manicure. Someone could always um, have their nails done or someone could wear a lot of rings or both. Okay. Someone could be in their 50s. It's coming out twice. Tell me more. All right. Someone in this situation... Somebody's parent could be involved in the situation or someone's children or there's just children involved in this and I'm talking to a parent. Okay. We have lip gloss, chapstick. Someone could like a lot of lip gloss or chapstick. Put it where it needs to go. Someone could wear a lot of gold jewelry or something about you, the color yellow. Maybe you could benefit from wearing the color yellow to help heal your solar plexus chakra. 
we got bald or buzz cut. Someone could be bald or have a buzz cut here. We have light caramel complexion. Someone could have a light, light or caramel complexion. And something could be unique about this person's body or something unique about this person's tattoos. Something like that is significant, okay? When it comes to this person or people. I'm kind of getting like someone has a tattoo on their face. That could be a clarification for somebody. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, how do these people be feeling when it comes to my horses? Someone could be paranoid or afraid. Somebody knows that the sneaky, deceitful shit that they did to you is coming back to them. Okay? Because they see that you're all joyful, so they know that something's coming back them the energy's got to go somewhere i'm also feeling like this person is threatened by you whoever was doing this or sending this energy Ooh. mind you there this could have been a co-worker this could have been an ex this could have been a family member this could have been a boss this could have been who do we need to go it could even be a fucking stranger too holy spirit holy angels tell me more people just be weird someone in the situation is confused that something is not affecting you okay this person could also be angry very furious <laughs> tell me more all right someone could be puzzled they don't understand how you passed some sort of test or you overcame something okay and now they're afraid because god's wrath or karma is coming to bite them in the ass okay someone could be depressed okay i'm also getting somebody try to make you depressed okay or made you want to try to or try to send you the energy of wanting to delete yourself okay damn tell me more yeah, someone's about to someone's gonna be embarrassed soon because they know the truth is gonna be illuminated soon. Someone is gonna be somebody's very nervous. This is the energy I was picking up earlier. Someone's really nervous. Okay, and maybe the whole laugh now, cry later, someone someone's gonna be pissing in their pants while I don't know, you might find this hilarious. I don't know. <laughs> but it where it needs to go. Alright. What else do they need to know, Spirit? What else do they need to know? Why am I talking like that? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else do my Tauruses need to know regarding this situation? What do they need to know? We have they hate seeing you winning. Okay. We have this hater becomes violent when, you, when they think of you. Alright. <laughs> Jesus, we have this hater has narcissistic 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 tendencies. I cannot talk. Ciao. Someone was really trying to put you in danger, or someone's gonna try to make an attempt to like attack you physically in some way. They can't stand that you're winning or you're coming up in some way. We have this hater set this hater sex text with your lover. If you guys are with someone, okay, or this could be some, this could even be your ex, okay, that's sex. There could be a family member or a friend or a coworker that is purposely sex texting one of your current lovers or ex lovers to make you mad. I don't know. Tell me more. We have this person thrives off drama, okay. We have this hater is suicidal, so be easy on them. Yeah, I feel like this person was trying to send you this type of energy, and now it's going back on them, okay? Someone thought that would be an easy way to take yourself out or whatever, or get rid of you, is if you just did it yourself. We have this person is one of your friends right now. So you got a friend that's a, a, a low-key fucking hater here. We have, they think that they are more superior than you so this is someone that thinks they're smarter than you more talented than you more spiritual than you um whatever this is what this person this is what this narcissist thinks about you okay or what they think about themselves they think that they're superior than probably not just you probably everyone else around them okay we have this hater is known to be a homewrecker so this person loves destroying harmonious healthy relationships this could be someone who likes to triangulate um people okay so they can have power and control over some sort of narrative or how people view other people um or this could be literally a homewrecker okay or someone was saying you were we have they are totally playing the victim when they start to lose so someone's someone's about to receive some sort of karma or is receiving karma and they're gonna play the victim so just be aware and then we have 
they are still mad over some old drama. So this is some old ass shit that someone can't learn to let go of and they just want to keep fucking playing the violin and harping it. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever the fuck it's, how about you say it, okay? All right. What kind of good things can they expect, Spirit? Because, dear Lord. What kind of good things can my Tauruses expect in the next week? What kind of good things can my Tauruses expect in the next week, Spirit? We have everything happens for a reason. It says release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. So something in the week, in the next week, something might break your heart. Okay. But everything happens for a reason. So remember that. You're going to find, whatever this is though, you're going to find some sort of solutions. I can't even talk. Some solutions that are going to help you solve any problems in the next week. It says success that comes from objective compromise. It says self-control and patience. Forgiving and healing energy. Okay. If this ex comes in, you might need to forgive them, okay? Not just, don't let them back in their fucking, don't let them back in your life, willy-nilly, blah, blah, blah. But forgive them and that's it. You don't have to just, you don't have to keep them in your life. This is something that's going to hit your heartstrings for show. Because there's a lot, these both are green cards, okay? We have, there is something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you. You're about to go on some sort of spiritual quest here. Archangel Raphael is definitely working with you right now. Tell me more. We have Page of Michael. It says an exciting new challenge. It says you have what it takes to succeed. It says review contracts or documents very thoroughly. So this could be this could be regarding some sort of opportunity that is going to be offered to you. Make sure that you review the paperwork that is being presented to you. If this is about a job, a business offer, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Or, an, or if this is in a, regarding some sort of house that's owed to you or some sort of inheritance, make sure that you get legal counsel to look over this or something, okay? Or you just need to look over it, okay? Tell me more. We have Queen of Ariel. It says, nurture yourself and those you love. The ability to make anything more beautiful, practical, and wise advice, okay? Someone can view you like this in the next week. All right. And then we have Queen of Michael. It says, you know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience. A time for your career rather than relationships. Okay. So for some of y'all, you might choose your your career over this ex that's coming in trying to pull on your heartstrings. Okay. Or some some of you might choose another route. Put it where it needs to go. Okay. Um, but I'm also getting, you're getting, you're being picked for some sort of opportunity because of your experience, okay? This could even be your life experience, your educational experience, your work experience, something like that, okay? And you guys are going to be receiving some sort of help soon, okay? All right, all right. Why do I keep talking like that? What else do they need to know, spirit? What do they need to know when it comes? Ooh. What do they need to know when it comes to their finances? Ooh. We have moonlighting. It says you can start working on your dream career part time while keeping your other job to pay the bills. It says soon your dream career career will take flight full and fully support you. Okay. We have release jealousy. It says jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something and the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's successes inspire rather than frustrate you if they can't have it so can you or whatever this is okay and then we have ask for your needs to be met we have god and the angels can come to your aid only if you make a free will choice to be helped and it begins with asking it doesn't matter how you ask god for help but only that you do so the same holds true with clearly asking other people to assist you 
okay? If you can conceive it, you can achieve it. Don't focus on what other people have and what you don't have and blah, 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 okay? Anything is fucking possible. We have raise or promotion. It says, congratulations, an increase in your abundance in your abundance flow awaits you. It says, this is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. It says, keep up the good work. You about to get, you about to get blessed with something. All right, Taurus. All right, this is going to be the end of your reading. Okay, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, if you guys want a personal reading, please check my description box below for lindalikestarot at gmail.com. Actually, before I go, let me do, let me do this real quick. What else do I need to know? Actually, I want to know, when will this raise come? This raise or promotion spirit? When will this raise? To, damn, it's going to come either from now until the new moon. We have a new start is coming. Damn. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What else do they need to know, though, real quick? From their ancestors? What do their ancestors want them to know? What do their ancestors want them to know? We have Anna, Grandmother of Jesus. It says, Seeding the Light, Laying Foundations, Divine Plan. Okay? So everything's happening according to God's plan here for you. Okay? We have Birthing a New Age. You're, you're stepping into a, a new beginning, a new life, okay? We have birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being, okay? I'm also getting you need to start visualizing what you want your new life to look like and be like and feel like. We have take a break. It says a life's work, not a season. Get off the treadmill, okay? So some of you could be overly working out at the gym, all right? Maybe you need to take a break when it comes to that. Or you guys been overworking yourselves. You might need to take a, a rest or something. Okay. And then we have the ever unfolding rose. It says cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. So if something happens in the next week that uh, you feel like is something that is a setback, spirit wants you to know it's part of the plan and it's happening to you or it's happening for you, not to you. Okay. All right. This is the end of the reading. I love you guys. Until next time. Bye.